Dead Rising 2 is a mature rated game featuring some adult language, sexual themes, and gore. You have been warned. Hey everyone, I'm Grand Hall and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Rising 2. <laughs> uh, the laser sword. We are currently escorting Sven back to the safe house. Which occasionally involves cutting a zombie or two in half. Hmm. Dang. There's only a jump kick. There's no jumping slash like there was with the broadsword. Oh well. Come on, Sven. Hurry up. Okay. So... La -di da Yeah. Back to the security room. It's not a... Ugh. I need to start slapping myself every time I say that. There. Okay. And... Sven's with me. Okay. Um... He had to work too hard. Oh! He, he's giving me some Zombrex! Awesome! Thank you, Sven! You are a cool guy. Okay. And back out there. So, uh, what now? Now... Hmm. Let's see about this once... this once bitten deal. So, now up here. And fill the empty slot in our inventory with a nail bat. Because, you know, right laser sword might be awesome, but I, well, I don't have the regular access to gems and flashlights required to make a bunch of them. Sadly. Alright, off in this direction. Do 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 do. Ah! They usually let me go so easily. I'm not used to getting grabbed like that. Alright, so. In the shoehorn? No. Why, why'd it point directly into the, the shoehorn, then? Ah, oh, up the escalator, okay. So now... <laughs> I swear, the arrow in the first game was better than the one in this one. It wasn't constantly pointing me in a direction that was not where I wanted to go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. So, what's up, Jared? Okay, um... Gonna clear out the zombies that are attacking him at the moment, and talk to him a little bit more! Hey! Ah, oh, great. He wants my Zombrex. <sighs> but I... I I... I have enough to buy from a pawn shop. I, I don't need it. <laughs> Great. He, um... Am I gonna have to carry him? Well... Ish. And here's the phone call to remind me that I need to bring some Zombrex. Uh, oh well. There's a pawn shop right here. Really wish I hadn't been so nice as to give this guy my Zombrex. Oh well. So, here's some. Yay. Okay, and we've got the Zombrex necessary. Yep, I was right about what that one was for. 
<sighs> what is that? Sports cart. Oh, for the one in the main lobby area. Can combine a bow and dynamite? <laughs> oh! Can combine a uh, squirt gun and a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Tenderizers. Oh, machete and, uh, yeah. Alright, well, time to bring this guy back to the safe house. Come on, guy. Because I am not helping him and going after a psychopath, which I'm pretty sure the other two missions are about. Unfortunately. And I hear looters. Uh, looters. Okay, so I know where uh, an, un an unending supply of bows is. wonder where I can find dynamite. Where would you find dynamite in a Las Vegas XP? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Of course, wouldn't really expect to find a machete in a casino either, but hey, that happens. So, back into the safe house! Yay! And Jared is safe for 24 hours at the end of which he will turn into a zombie and kill everyone here. Why did I save him? Oh well. Okay. So, what now now? Um... Let's go with that one. But I'm going to need to find some food items first. Oh, a new thing to do. Industrial fashion. You know what? I'm going to do this one. Because I'm, I'm absolutely positive, from having been killed by him already, that the cure protester is a psychopath who's going to kill me. And I'm roughly 80% sure that the guy hurting people into the restaurant is also a psychopath. Why am I wearing a tuxedo with sneakers? That's just occurred to me. Hey, looters, what if it's a flashlight? Why did they take two hits with a uh, lightsaber, anyway? Blood, uh, ah. <laughs> okay, so... Hey, where, where'd the flashlight go? I wanted that flashlight, that's the whole reason I killed these guys! Dang. Oh, I heard another looter upstairs, so may as well go off him as well. I thought he did. Ah, oh, there he is, okay. Oh, he's got a flashlight! Ah! Okay. Um, that, that lightsaber's almost dead, so I'm gonna drop it. Oh, hey, I've, I've still got this. And, you know, I get a lot of PP for using up. I may as well. Yep. Yeah, and with the bonus from the combat magazine, yeah, there's just, it's... <laughs> there's no good reason not to use this thing up. It, it's not that effective as a weapon, but it sure is a great level up tool. So. One little way of cheating it. Uh, dang, I was hoping to get more line. Yeah, somehow you can fire two more times if you're doing heavy at, uh, what's up here? A broadsword! Yeah! <laughs> sure, why not? I can use that as a last ditch weapon. So, following every handy arrow, just telling me to go down. Let's see. Stairs appear slightly less infested over here. So, over to Fortune Park. I did not memorize where all the doors lead, I just read the sign was about it. Okay, so, off through the massive swarm of creeping undead to the Fortune City Hotel. Looks like it's going to be Fortune City Hotel. Good, just off in some other direction, I'm going to be unhappy. Okay. Good, it is in Fortune City Hotel. And... Continuing over here. Huh, I don't think I noticed the uh, construction around the statue before. In fact, I don't think I noticed the statue before. <laughs> a little bit too busy following Christian Takanoa. But I suppose the construction explains why there are construction workers here. Yeah. If you think that such things really need explanation. I mean, there could be construction workers wherever construction workers want to take a break. Okay. 
Hey! Someone who's actually fighting to survive. Awesome. Okay. What's up, Willa? Apparently you're a chicken. So... Yep, I have to carry her. That's what I was thinking. Gonna drink the or, or the yeah. <laughs> Gonna drink the orange juice so that I have an extra slot in my inventory to carry her. And let's see. Hey, Terry. Um, Terry, just because you're talking to me doesn't mean you can stop fighting zombies. Okay. Come on. We need to go off in this direction? It's not the direction I came from. Why is it telling me to go in a direction I didn't come from? I mean, I came from the safe house. Why is it telling me a different way to get back to the safe house? Ah, uh, looters. Looters who've taken a specific interest in me? Uh, come on! I'm carrying someone here! Okay. Fortunately, when you're carrying someone, zombies don't have a lot of uh, luck in grabbing you, so, eh, I was able to get away. And I am out of time. <laughs> so, where is the closest save point? I believe that would be... I don't know. Oh, dear. Alright, um... <laughs> Ah, I love just barreling through zombies because I'm carrying someone. Alright, um, I'll probably super speed something in this video. In fact, I'll probably have super speeded something before now, so you guys already know that I'm going to super speed something. Time travel's weird. Alright. Oh, dang it. I could go in that restroom and save, except there's a psychopath there. A psychopath who wants to kill me. Dang. <laughs> oh well. I suppose I'll go all the way back to the safe house and save there. It is, after all, the safe house. Ha ha ha. What's with the picture of the lady? Okay. So. Just generally going forward generally slowly going forward. <laughs> La -de da And... almost there. More trudging to do yet. Okay. Hey, how did Terry get injured? She was doing a really good job of protecting herself. Huh. Weird. Oh well. So. Here's the vent to the safe house. Yay! Yep, they're safe. Hooray. And... time for me to save. <laughs> Level up! New skill move acquired! Hold right trigger and press X. I'm gonna have to see what that one involves next time. For now, I'm Granhall. See you next time!